No, no, but the thing is, you can't do. Okay, I'll get the top. Hey, I, I I'll got the yeah. Nine. Where's yellow at? He's right here, next to admin. Leslie, finish your task, please. I'll get the code in already, Walter. Sorry, do sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Oh! It's messy. It's messy. <laughs> it's messy. You killed him right in front of me. Oh my God. Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Since Rona's been messing up our year, I've realized something. Not only are we broke from less jobs, but we have more free time such as playing games. So it got me thinking, since we're a bunch of lowlife bums who PC game on Steam, how about I introduce to you my list of the top 10 cheap and easy to run games on Steam for under $10. Now, before I get started, here are some ground rules. The games I choose have to be $10 all the time. There will be a few exceptions like sales, but I'll let you boys know because good boy points don't come cheap and I completely understand. Along with that, it has to be on Steam. I wanted to put Call of Duty Warzone on here, but you need a MySpace account for that and I didn't want to go through with rediscovering mine for Battle.net. For this list, I kept in mind the Potato PCs. These are games that should almost run on anything, but it wouldn't hurt to run them on lowest setting 720p. Lastly, I didn't want to mention games that are free. That may be for a separate list because more free games have come out since uh, I did my last video back in 2016. Ouch. Anyways, without further ado, let's -a go! Number 10. Kicking things off, I wanted to go with Sega's Mega Drive Collection. Reason being because you can get multiple games from Sega's greatest console, all for under $10. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic 3D, the one Sonic game that doesn't exist, and Echo the motherfucking Dolphin. These great classics can be all found here. Keep in mind, each game is labeled individually with a price, so I recommend grabbing Sonic 1 or 2, but if the bundle ever goes on sale, cop it up because it's definitely worth it. The emulation isn't perfect, but it's damn near close. Not to mention the atmosphere that makes you feel as if you're truly playing in the 90s. It's something dreams are made of. And it's why this little collection of games is on number 10. Numero 9. You folks ever been to Disneyland or Six Flags and wondered, Man, I wish I could make my own amusement park. That would be so dope. Well, you've always been able to. Sorry, kid. Back in 1999, Chris Sawyer, blessed by thy name, created a little niche game title, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and by God, the world hasn't been the same since. You have your own plot of land that you can do whatever you want on, place down pre-built rides, make, make nice looking parks, and even create your own rides. Back in 1999, this level of customization is crazy, and even in 2020, this is definitely fun to waste 200 hours or more on. Not to mention Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe is $5.99 retail, and the second one is $9.99. So whichever one you choose, you can't go wrong with. However, I do recommend grabbing the second one since there is more to it, and there are mods like multiplayer, but if you only got 5 good boy points, the first one is unbeatable. Not to mention anything can run this game, so what are you waiting for boys? Number 8. Looking into this list, I wanted to make it more diversified. I don't want it to be filled with a bunch of 90 games that are easy to run, so how about I throw you guys a 2000 game. That being Psychonauts. Psychonauts is a great little platformer that some would consider a classic. The characters are amazing, the story is sublime, and the score is amazing. I recommend grabbing this classic on sale, but it's always 10 bucks and it's definitely worth a try. I remember messing around and discovering Mila's Secret with the children burning down and my god, this game tells so much on lore and side quests alone. Great little romp that you can most definitely run on most potatoes, just make sure you lower your settings. Number 7. If you're just getting started into PC gaming and want to test out your little potato, one game series I do recommend trying out is the Grand Theft Auto series. More importantly, Vice City. Vice City is one of the best games I used to play on the PS2, and by God, I fell in love with it. At the time, my feeble six-year-old brain couldn't comprehend why I loved this game. But looking back at it, it's such a great game mostly because of its atmosphere, which is the time it takes place in, the characters, the outlandish things you can do and get away with. Most games I played back then didn't even have this type of freedom that Vice City offered. Nowadays, it looks dated, but at least it'll run on your PC. If you got more money to kill, I recommend grabbing GTA 3, San Andreas, and if your potato is pretty strong, Grand Theft Auto 4. They are all great games with great stories, and the hours you wait in the open sandbox is worth it. Number 6. 
I know I've mentioned in my last list that I recommend grabbing all the Valve games if you can, but one game I do mention grabbing right now is Left 4 Dead 2, and here's why. Left 4 Dead 2 embodies what the zombie survive genre has always tried to be. A nice co-op experience where you and your boys try to survive the horde of the undead, and it's just perfect. The physics, the weapons, the items, melee, it's all so fine-tuned that once you find your favorite weapon, you never ever want to try another one. But then you try another one and you're like, damn, this is good. Not to mention the elephant in the room that they have released a new update for the game, which uh, has been years since the last one came out. And now everyone and their mothers are playing Left 4 Dead 2 again. So give it a shot. It can't hurt. Number 5 oh. Shoot the fuckers! You ever seen your boys playing Rainbow Six Siege and thought to yourselves, Damn, I wish I had that game. Well, you won't still have it, but Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is definitely a good replacement. This game is really fun. You have three modes to choose from. Campaign, which is alright. Multiplayer, which is less alright. But Terrorist Hunt is where it's at, boys. Bots are easy to brutal, but it's a nice balance to when you're playing with the boys, they won't destroy you automatically, like right away. And getting tactical is the key to win. With the nice covering system and unlockables that seem very fun to work towards, this game grabs the number 5 spot. Did I mention this game lets you create your own character with your face? Try it out and check out the memes. Number 4 Remember the good old days on Xbox 360? Back when the Xbox had a huge indie arcade scene? Man, was it really magical looking through the games that were the indie arcade? Yeah, most were shit and wasted a few hours of your time, but at two bucks or so you couldn't go wrong. Especially with this classic, Zombie Estate 2. Ported over from the Xbox 360, this game has a lot of potential to be your next game romp game. It has co-op, it has weapons to buy, rounds of zombies to kill, all in this nice pixel aesthetic. Anything with a CPU can run this game, so go ahead and grab it while you can. Numero 3 Now that we're getting to our top 3 games, I feel like these spots shouldn't go to just any old game. So I put a lot of thought and care into choosing these, and once you see them, I think you'll agree with me. Starting off with number 3, I have Undertale. Undertale is such a great game, defined the genre of RPGs to where you literally don't have to kill anyone. It's genius, breaking the rules of set standards and putting them on their head. Not to mention the soundtrack, almost all the songs are memorable and amazing. Characters are relatable and truly human. Hell, even the gay robot has more humanity than the humans in the game. And the story holds up so well that I don't even want to touch Deltarune, which is a game I have to play eventually. But I'm holding out because uh, I've just been so stuck on Undertale. For just 10 bucks, this game will keep you hooked for hours. I think anything could run this, so I implore you to try it out. Number 2 -y. When you think of modern realistic first person shooters, you think of games of the likes such as Arma series, Counter Strike, Rising Storm 2, Verdun, and can't forget this spot on the list, Insurgency. Being on the Source engine, the same engine that powers most of Valve games, it's safe to say that this game will definitely run on your PC. Anyways, Insurgency is a modern FPS that can get really crazy at times, especially while you're playing against 30 something angry bots. But if you want to stray away from that and relax, bot servers are a must and can be hella fun. Many weapons to choose from and a ton of mods that still have this game going on even after the new one has came out. However, this game is currently $15. But, if you wait for it on sale, it'll go down to the $2 range. So it is a must for anyone on Steam. Before we get to number 1, here are some honorable mentions. These games I had my eye on, but didn't make the cut since I'm bored, and they could be in another video. So keep an eye out. Anyways, let's head on over to number 1. Halo Reach. This game brings back so many memories. It was one of the first Halo games I truly owned and played on my own console. The story was amazing, taking place before Halo 1, and I truly think this is one of the best campaigns from the series. Along with that, we have Firefight, which is awesome to fight against hordes of the government. And lastly, we can't forget about multiplayer. Man, have I spent days playing multiplayer. I remember back on the 360, I would hop on on a Friday afternoon after school and play with my boys till 3 in the morning messing around with Forge created maps and game modes. I don't know if they fully brought back Forge, but even without it, the multiplayer is spot on and is highly recommended. If you can, I recommend buying the whole collection, but if you can't, then Halo Reach alone is perfect and it's a great experience to get into Halo with. 
This game may not be easy to run, but on lower end systems, it is doable at lower settings. Well, there you have it folks. Psych! I want to leave you guys on a good note, and decided to add one more game that you folks are probably bored out of your minds listening about, but that game is Among Us. For only $4.99, this little game will give you hours of fun messing around with your friends and randoms. This game has the same type of vibes like Town of Salem, except with actual gameplay. As in, you're not stuck texting paragraphs saying why you're not the Mafia. Instead, you go around and do tasks, while trying to find out who the real imposter is. This game is a 5 out of 5 with me. The only way they could make this game any better would be to add a Joker role, such as in Town of Salem, where one guy's role is to literally die or get voted on purpose. But other than that, cross-platform and how easy it is to run this game and the price makes it a to second top game on this list. Well, there you have it folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried incorporating many genres and games so that the list doesn't seem boring and tedious. I know there are more better games out there as well, for just a few bucks more, but keep your eye out because I may make another list in the future. Hopefully you guys love these games more than I do, and if you have some suggestions and comments, the comments are down below, or you can hit me up on Discord, the link is also down below. Anyways, thanks so much for listening dorks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.